Well, hello again, and welcome back to another boxing up video for Operation Christmas Trial. This is another girl 10 to 14 box, and kind of thinking like this one's got a little bit of a groovy theme to it ish. Not quite sure. That's just how my brain was working. So, first off, we got her notebook, plus a bunch of stickers. I like to include uh, about four of the water bottle stickers. And then two of the yeah, um, make a face sticker sheets. So I like to do them random just just for fun. Underneath that we've got a adult coloring book and this one was 60s themed so I thought that was pretty good. I like the grooviness of it. Moving along, we've got her doll, and this is one of the Sparkle Girls dolls that I found at a Dollarama from time to time. Added in some accessories, so a few additional clothes and some shoes. I think this one will go with the groovy theme. Also got one of these uh, bracelets that Sonia had given me a couple of years ago, along with some earrings. And yeah, that's my mom actually being goofy. And trying to uh, bomb my video here, so don't mind her. If you're wondering why I tend to be uh, quiet when I'm talking, it's because my family thinks I'm weird. But anyways, there's some hair ties and headbands. There is uh, her um, cutlery kit and her toothbrush kit. For some reason I've got quite a bit of gray in this box, I don't know why. There's her socks and underwear, her reusable menstrual pad kit. We've included this bag, which I picked up at a yard sale a while back. And moving along quickly, my mom was still poking around. This is the bead kit, so I've included some embroidery floss, as well as some wooden beads. We've got the math kits and the colored pencils, uh, some markers. Also included her school kits. And I like to include scientific calculators for the older kids. Also got a little owl um, bunny racer. There's her washcloth, her t-shirt, and uh, she'll be getting not all four, but one of these hair clips, which my friend Erlen gave me. So and that's the spread, and we also got our soap kit in the corner as well. But we're going to have fun packing this box, liking with everything that I've got sucked out so far. And here's the lid of the box. I thought this was nice and calm. The verse at the bottom says, He may get the storm a calm, and so that the waves are over still. So here's the top of the box. That was a nice pretty pattern. On the sides of the box, uh, just to cover up some of the stickers, I did use some of the tie-dye uh, duct tape again. Just for the sides. I thought they went, the colors went well with the uh, rest of the pattern on the box. But we've got our first layer in, so I've got the doll kit without the doll. I had to squish it in a little bit, so this box is roughly the length of a go box, but it is wider, so that's nice. We've got the pencil sharpener in the corner, plus her hygiene kit, or her toothbrush kit. Got both the coloring book and the notebook on the side there. And one thing I like about uh, boxes with detached lids is that with a detached lid, you actually have a little bit more uh, leeway on how stuffed your box can get. As long as the lid covers the sides, you're pretty good. But we've got the rest to include in here. And I just want to show this off quick. This is the bag that I picked up at a yard sale a couple years back. Really like this. It's um, nice corduroy on the outside. I kind of think it fits with the groovy theme. Nice and big, so maybe she can use this bag to carry her box home in. Uh, this is the bulkiest item, so it's the one that's going to be creating the most challenge. 
So for here's our first attempt at the next layer of our box. Got the bag spread out. I realized I got so much gray in this box just based on the undergarments and the um, menstrual kit there. But I thought these would be good to fill in kind of the lumps that the bag created. And a quick peek on the inside. So there's all her reusable pads plus a clo clothing pin line that I picked up at Dollar Tree. It's mostly for crafts, but I thought that this might be a good idea. I remember I did see someone else doing something like this as well with their boxes. Alright, there is our next layer. I did have to rework the bag a little bit. Actually, no, at this point I didn't rework the bag yet. But we are going to be reworking it. Spoiler alert. Better colored pencils, the t-shirt, the pencil kit. There's her uh, bead kit. Got the doll and the hair clip in the back there. And also fighting with the straps. Still got some stuff that I have uh, missed here. We're going to do our best to make it fit. And after all that, same three items from the previous uh, girl box that I did that I didn't get to fit in. Oh, it is what it is. We are going to find homes for all three of these items. Just you wait and see. So again, one of the things about the detached lids, <laughs> you do have a little bit more give. But this is after I reworked the box a little bit, so I changed up the way I had the bag folded. Uh, put the bulk in a different spot, put the t-shirt on top, along with the pencil crayons. Did spread out the washcloth as well, so that was less bulky. Move the menstrual kit around, move the doll to the other side. And yeah, just a general re reworking. So we've got the calculator at our feet. Got the soap kit in a different spot. Hair clip is by the doll's head this time along with the bead kit. But overall, it worked out a lot better than the first way I had it. And missing only three items is just fine. We will find homes for them. Not to worry. Now because I did take out the math kit, I went back to my stash and pulled out one of the flat compasses that I have. I really like these things. So you can make a whole bunch of different uh, circle designs, plus it's got uh, some suggested patterns for them on how to use it. I do wish that uh, I had a little bit more writing than English on it, like French or Spanish, but that's okay, at least it's got the pictures. But these are a good alternative to the bulky uh, math sets and the compasses. Also found this little uh, notebook, which goes with her uh, owl bracelet and eraser. And that's that. So I managed to tuck these in the sides as well. And this is the final box. Close the lid. As you can see, there's still some squish. And if I lift it up, it, the lid does still cover a good chunk of the box. So, happy with that. But yeah, one of the things with shoe boxes is definitely don't be afraid to rework things. And if to leave something out, that is okay. But thanks guys for watching. I hope this inspired you a little bit. Have fun packing your shoe boxes and stay blessed. Bye.